So this quick dive video is all about shooting a variety of water drops and getting those refractions in focus. You can see Stormy. Those are the yellow flowers that I have. You can see it's kind of windy also. So, I picked a flower here and I like the black. Okay, yeah, you could do that and just drape this, um, you can drape black velvet in your backyard wherever you want. And then this right here is part of a, it's part of a wisteria plant that was, the flowers were falling apart, you can see. And I have some drops on it. And now I'm going to do, because I love the yellow with the black and I love the wisteria, period. And we'll see if we can get some drops from this. Okay, one thing I want to share with you is I'm, I'm going to get up close here and I've been going to each of these and making sure that each of the flower is in focus. So I've been shooting each of the drops in focus. Now if you don't, if it's sunny outside and you can't see, then drape something over your head and look at the back of your screen and use this. It's, it's awesome. This is how you can really get up close and make sure that your drops are in focus. So let's do, you can see these two bottom ones down in here that now they're in focus. The other ones aren't. The camera's always moving. So it's always good to give yourself a three second delay so like if I'm moving something and I'm, I'm adjusting give yourself a little bit of a just give yourself a break and let everything settle and then take the picture I also because I have a Canon that has a mirror I am actually making sure that the um, mirror is locked And if you'd like to get deeper into your macro and landscape education, go to SullivanJPhotography.com and sign up for our emails. Have a great day. Cheers.